Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 2 of this Yeovil career mode. We're going to start off here signing Dominic Pullion on a season long loan from Leeds. What a great sign he turns out to be, you'll see later on in the episode. And of course, Janai Gordon Hutton, the controversial possible signing from last episode that I was talking about. If you missed last episode, by the way, check it out in the description. We did reject his transfer in the end and uh, we let Kiefer Moore go out on loan to Northampton 56 rated striker 20 years old I thought you know what there's not too much room for potential and for him to build up you know as soon as he's already 20 years old of course that's a young age but you know what in the football world it's kind of not when you're still only rated 56 so I let him go out on loan and uh, we also um, sorry and we also sent out our scouts with new instructions I was like you know what I've looked at my team, I played that friendly last episode and I thought we need some new midfielder, we need someone creative and uh, and so you will see that I end up sending out my uh, my two scouts both to Spain and Portugal to pick up some nice creative midfielders. We also send out Sam Johnston, um, actually no sorry we sold him, at the start of the season we had about five or six goalkeepers and of course you only need two, one first team, one reserve and you know what we've got Marit Steck. And we've got Wayne Hennessy, two superb goalkeepers indeed. And uh, both of them are first team worthy. And so I thought, you know what, the remaining three or four goalkeepers can either go out on loan and possibly I can sell them, you know, that's going to even be even better. Not only will I free up that wage budget, I'm also going to be receiving funds that I can then invest into other players. So, as I said, on to sending the scouts out, both of them came back. One went to England, one went to France, if you saw last episode. And they both said to me, you know what, Kane, come on, uh, we've been to England, we've been to France. We've basically just dripped the country dry of all the talent. You obviously haven't been impressed with what we've brought back so far. So please send us somewhere else where we can search for more talent and hopefully improve your squad. So that's what I've done. I've sent one to Spain and one to Portugal, as you just saw. Now, hopefully these guys are going to go out find me playmakers that have a speciality and free kicks, I think the, uh, the, the specialities I gave them were, I'm just trying to think, yeah, I think so. Now onto our first match, our first competitive match, of course last episode we played a friendly um, against a Russian or Ukrainian side, drew 1-1, and the remaining two friendlies I've just simmed, you know, once you've seen one, you've seen them all kind of thing, and so we jumped straight into competitive games in the second episode, ready and ripe to do this and of course it's against Nottingham Forest now this was a very important game for me these are kind of the par that I want to be at when I'm performing with Yeovil I know of course we've just been promoted from League One but with the signings we've made and uh, with the extra playing style that I'm going to bring in and the tactics that I have I'm hoping that you know Yeovil's quality this season is going to be at least mid-table if not you know, going for playoffs and going for the promotion to the Premier League in our first season as manager unfortunately we conceded. We conceded in the 26th minute from Reed scoring for Nottingham Forest, which I have to say, to be fair to Nottingham Forest, was a nice team goal. And uh, the ball was unfortunately put past Hennessy into the back of the net. Never mind, we didn't let that get us down. Of course we didn't. Yeovil came back, I came back, and uh, Madden specifically came back and unfortunately couldn't find the back of the net with that shot. Um, the keeper holds it, but at least, you know, it's a shot on target. We're getting our motivation up, we're getting our kind of team spec, we're going, come on guys, we can do this. And Patterson, what an absolute great signing he has been, linking up with Poli on there. Just, oh, those two signings have been absolutely superb. Um, Patterson's done exactly what I wanted him to do on that left mid, and you'll see here, he's going to be our number one free kick taker. Although he might not have the best stats in some um, in some areas, you know, he's got the most consistent free kick stats, and that's what I like. Unfortunately, I thought that ball was going into the net. I thought the keeper just palmed it into the side netting. Unfortunately, he pushed it wider the post. And from that resulting corner, we do whip the ball in. Madden gets his head to it, and the prolific striker gets the second ball. And uh, the keeper can't really do too much about that. I'm afraid you're just going to have to sit down on the ground and stay there, my friend. That's it. Madden puts us back level 1-1. In the 55th minute, I'm thinking, come on guys, we can do this. I've been dominating for the whole of the game. Other than that conceded goal, obviously, we've got this. You know, I've just got to keep pushing, keep pushing, and uh, soon we'll uh, we'll break down the uh, the barricade. Unfortunately, that's not quite how it happened. Lansbury plays it through to Mackie, and Mackie just toe it past Hennessy. Oh, one of those annoying goals, I'm afraid, is just... Uh, it's really depressing because... 
you've tried so hard and we had quite a few chances that of course I haven't included in this gameplay for, fo for uh, footage length reasons and uh, and it's just annoying to have all that hard work put down but never mind never mind what I was saying of course polion has been such a great striker for us just loops over the goalkeeper there I mean the confidence you've got to have to have that finish in that situation you know 2-1 down in the cup <laughs> Hats off to you, Polion, and uh, hopefully we're going to see some more from him just like that later on in the season. But never mind, it was a cup match, of course. That means that although it's 2-2, it's going to go on to extra time. And uh, if it's still level after extra time, then it will trail on to penalties. Now, at this point, I was thinking, I've got, I've got to secure this in extra time. You know, I'm, I've just started playing FIFA 14, and it's such an important match in such a key part of the season near the very beginning. I don't know if I'm going to have the quality to be able to finish on world class and be able to kind of put Yeovil in the lead at the end of the penalty shootout. And so I thought, you know, we've had 13 shots on target. Uh, sorry, 13 shots in total, 10 shots on target. You know, both of those stats are over double in comparison to Nottingham Forest. 53 possession compared to the 47 with Nottingham Forest. And unfortunately, nothing happened in extra time. It was absolutely dead. The first penalty, guys... And it gets saved. I thought my first penalty of FIFA 14, my morale was either going up or down. And it went rock bottom after I saw that. And if it couldn't get any lower, it just did. They just chipped me, man. How frustrating you think, oh, you cheeky little devil. But you know what? We've just got to hold our breaths, keep in there. Madden, being the reliable player he is, manages to find the back of the net. Keeps us cool, and uh, well, it's, it really is a mind game. We're just trying to guess the right way. It's a very nice tucked in penalty there from Nottingham Forest, and I'm thinking I've just got to try all I can. I'm uh, when I'm the goalkeeper, I'm swirling around the analog, trying to get him to do star jumps to put off the computer, which does work. And I'm just, as you can see there, I'm just hoping this works. I'm hoping he puts it over. Unfortunately, all of their pens so far they've put away. And I'm thinking, this isn't going to happen. This just isn't going to happen. The first game of the season, and I've lost. And how the keeper didn't save that, I don't know. But I'm going to take that. Webster, very well done for a centre-back. And what happens? He hits the bar. A breath of luck. A nice little lifeline to hold on to. And at this point, I'm thinking... Fucking hell, I've got this, I've got this. Puts away another penalty, not the best position, but you know what? I'm going to take that, it's a penalty, it's gone in the back of the net, that's good enough for me. Once again with the star jumps. Sorry, Matt Stack, not Hennessy, is trying to put him off. And of course he does, that's it, Matt Stack is the winner for us. In this penalty shootout, in this cup match, from being 1-0 down in the 26th minute, we've come back to win it on penalties at Hewish Park. I just, honestly, I was so relieved. Our cup match, you know, if this, if we hadn't have won this, this would have been a pretty down a situation to start the season on. But you know what? We have, we've got that win, and we've, well, we've got that nice boost of morale to get us on. At the end of the game, we've got a season-long loan offer for Chris Dunn, another goalkeeper, as I was saying, who I don't mind letting go out on loan or to be bought from Colchester, and that's what we do. So, guys, it's been I'm Original Chaos. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Yeovil Career Mode. Please do leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave suggestions on who you think I should buy, possible formations to use, and uh, who you think would be the best set piece takers. Other than that, guys, do follow me on Twitter down below. Check out the first episode if you missed it. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, it's been I'm Original Canis. I am out. Bye-bye.